How do you know Arthur? He's not running his stupid camera, is he? I unplugged everything myself. That's all of it? Exactly as you ask, sir. Does he suspect anything? I'd say he rather distrusts me, Mr. Pickering. But he hasn't found anything, has he? No, sir. But having Mr. Morgan out of the house does complicate matters. Morgan's an idiot. So are you for provoking him. He was searching in plain sight. He was not being careful. Uh, careful or not, Jack doesn't have the authority to fire him. Get Morgan back. I don't think Mr. Listen Marshall... Listen the hunt in this crazy woman's house has gone on too long. She was a fool in life for entrusting her house to a delinquent nephew. She's a fool in death for making a child's game her fortune. I'm doing the best I can, Mr. Pickering. No, I need better than that. Did you find the blueprints yet? No, sir. Well, that means Jack hasn't found them either. Remember, 5% of whatever we find here goes right there. Thank you. Mr. Pickering. You can thank me when we find it. It might be good for you to uh, get in touch with Mr. Marshall. He's likely to hear that you've been in town. Who's in town? You? <laughs> He's surprisingly resourceful. Very well. This talk never happened, House. Keep looking. Well, now I understand why you have trust issues. You okay? Yeah. My aunt wasn't a fool, though. Oh, I know. I know. We, we all know that. Hey, how do you know Arthur? What? Arthur, how do you know? Are you guys... Friends, or we... I'm sorry, I have to go. Bye. Well, not much to unpack there. Honestly, though, it helps to have confirmation that the people in your life you suspect of being the bad guys are actually the bad guys. I knew Arthur didn't like me, but he's supposed to represent the interests of my aunt, a woman that he just called a fool. I don't know what it is he's looking for, but I'll make sure he doesn't find it. And house? He just signed his deal with the devil in blood. All the mystery, all the suspicion, it's just money. I thought somehow he would be above all of that, but no. At least I know where people stand. Except Meredith. We shared an earbud, two earbuds. We shared earbuds. <laughs> Can I just bask in that for just one little second, please? And we had a normal conversation. But she does know Arthur. Not that that's a crime. But it is cause for concern since she was being so cagey about the details. Oh, what else did we learn? Well, apparently the blueprints are gone. Stoddard told me as much when he visited the county clerk. Uh, at least we're all on the same playing field here. And as for what's hidden in the house, I don't know how I'll find it, but I will tear that house apart brick by brick if I have to. Arthur Pickering is not going to get the best of me. And for all the information that he has, he doesn't have the riddle. Which means I have to solve it. P.I. Jack Marshall, back on the case. Still no hat. Mm -hmm.